previously on Next Level Chef. <laughs> Only one dish today will save their entire team from elimination. Isaiah. Go, go, go. Let's go. Ari right, Lauren, this cook-off is your do-or-die moment. The dish that I'm eliminating is the chicken thigh. Ari. Right. Home chef kicked butt against a pro chef? And tonight... Our kitchen, baby, we back! You'll have 30 minutes to create a fish dish from a tropical island cuisine. Woo! Turn the heat up! Half of it's excellent. Half of it's this weird, regurgitated baby food. The competition is really getting to me. the energy oh my goodness me good morning good morning yeah. how are we feeling amazing now team ramsey thanks to isaiah's curry in a hurry we are back in that top level kitchen let's go today we want you to take us on a trip to paradise Ooh. because the best meals i've ever eaten are on vacation for me traveling isn't about collecting souvenirs. It's about collecting taste memories. Think about the incredible seafood, fruits and vegetables and spices. Mm, yes. It's a chef's dream, isn't it? Yes. yes. Yeah. This challenge couldn't be more me. I mean, I live on an island, so palm trees, ocean, sand, cocktail. <laughs> For today's challenge, you'll have 30 minutes to create a next level fish dish Let's go, baby. Inspired by tropical island cuisine. Oh. Okay. Woo. Yes. My family's from Puerto Rico and Dominican Republic, so I'm like, it's two islands. I can't go wrong, right? All right, Team Blaze. Thanks to Lauren, we get to move up to the mid-level kitchen, but no mid-performances today, okay? No yes, chef. chef. Okay, Team Arrington, do you want to make it out of that basement today? We're going to oh, get yeah. out of that basement. There's only one way to do that, and that's to work your way out. Yes, Chef. Yes, chef. Right, Team Ramsey, I'll meet you in that top level kitchen shortly. Good luck, Ooh, let's go. Let's get it. Let's get it. We're out of here. We're out of here. We're out of here. I'll be waiting for everything you miss. <laughs> hey, we're in the top kitchen. Put your heart on that dish. There is still a lot of equipment in that top kitchen that I don't even know how to begin using. It's both exciting and intimidating. High level, high expectations. Island vibe. Yeah. Yeah. yeah! Let's do it! Yeah. Let's do it! It's beautiful! I'm so happy about this! Yeah, this is freaking awesome. The middle kitchen feels like a vacation. Vacation from downstairs. H-E double hockey sticks place. <laughs> Shortest ride ever. All right, all right, all right. We got it. We're not making this our home. Nope. We're going to win our way out. So we made it out of here once in the same spot. We're going to make it yeah. out of here again. again. It's not the place month anymore. No. No, it's the niche month. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. You too, Chef. Let's go! Yeah! Let's go, let's go. What does tropical vacation mean to you? Italy, Spain, coast, Portugal. Coast, Amalfi Coast, amazing. Yes. What is a so vacation? Light, fresh. Light, fresh, like, I love it. I don't want to look bloated on the beach. No, exactly, right? Good, right? Full so, side. <laughs> Come on, one, two, three. Team All right, go. line up, guys. Good luck. Yeah! yeah. yeah. I love it, I love the spirit, I love the confidence, okay? Middle kitchen, we got everything we need, nothing more, nothing less, yep. Yeah. but certainly it's better than the base. Hell oh yeah! yeah. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Right, how are we feeling? Great yeah. point. Five strong, baby. Power comes in numbers. Immunity pin is shining. I'm a Florida boy. We do tropical down in Tampa, so I'm feeling right at home with this beachy theme. Richard. Gordon. Welcome back. You're out of the basement. How's yeah. it feel? Oh, it feels so good. <laughs> oh, we're coming up there, though. No chance. 
God, this kitchen is so beautiful. Let's stay here, chef. Platform is moving, guys. Let's go, let's go. Three, two, one, let's go. Wow, look at those. Oh my goodness me, red snapper, prawn, swordfish, tuna. Sea bream, beautiful. 15 seconds to go. Hi, mommy. It is insane. Your grab dictates everything, and it goes by in a blink of an eye. Guys, come on, Please 10 stop. seconds, there's fresh mint there. Please. Like, part of me is like, is it really 30 seconds? Like, it feels like three. Let's go, speed up. Let's Round go. Line. There's no food. There's no food. Oh, nice. grab, 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 grab. Well done. Let's go. Well done. All right, when it's green, it's go time. Woo, here goes the stampede. There it is. I'm seeing lobster. How the hell did the top kitchen not grab this? I lucked out on this one. Prawns, mackerel, fish sticks. Fish fingers, yeah. I'm frantic and I'm doing a panic grab. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. When I look up and see a bunch of arms like grabbing and I'm like, they're taking everything. All right, sweet chili sauce. Ugh. Oh, give me the prawns. Juju juice right here, that's great. If you can grab it, it's yours. You can grab it, it's yours. Okay. Oh, careful, 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 careful. Okay. All right, here we go, guys. Go! Go! The platform is looking scarce. Not much left down here, guys. I grabbed the imitation crab sticks, and I'm a little worried because I don't know how well they cook. Beautiful, guys. I know it's not a lot. Make it work. Just grab lettuce, lotus root, right? Nice chip. 30 minutes starts now, guys. Let's go. And boy, we got here. We want to stay at the top now, yes? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. A little bit, one dish, baby. That's all we're doing, one dish. Those colors, we're in Baja. Let's take them to Mexico. Right, Wendy, what did you grab? I'm doing a miso mirin um, marinade. You on grabbed the mahi mahi, I love that. And so where are we going with this? I'm kind of going Hawaiian Thai, honestly. Okay, Hawaiian Thai, great combination there, by the way. I'm going to marinate some cubes and sear them individually, mm -hmm. okay, and then great. do a leek puree with pickled onions. I love the idea of a leek puree. Uh, well done, great grab there, by the way. Five minutes gone. Five minutes, okay? Go, we're gonna win this. All right, Lauren. You almost jumped down on the platform. I gotta do what I gotta do to stay in this competition. Okay, I like that. I like the spirit. What, what did you grab over here? Got my catfish. Catfish is kind of a garbage fish, to be honest. That should have gone down to the basement. This is your magic weapon right here, okay? Okay. So traditionally, you might see gochujang in like a fried rice dish, in a Korean okay. fried rice dish. Gushugan, sushi rice, Catfish. This is a very weird combination, I'm not gonna lie. Get going okay. though Thank on the you, rice, chef. okay? Rice is on. Smells like a giant cockroach. Okay, Angela. I'm making it work. All right, what are we doing? Dominican and lobster thumbador, but with prawns. I'm just gonna stick to my roots, a Dominican Creole. Okay, a Dominican lobster thermidor sounds fantastic, yeah, okay? that's where I'm going um, with it. I love this Dominican angle here, right? Just some of my favorite food. I just remember going with my dad and literally this man put a scuba diving outfit on and got the lobster right out of the water and cooked it. Tell that story with this dish, right? Dominican Republic is paradise. The food is great, bold sauces and flavors, and then rice, and we rice by the pounds. We're lacking a little bit of uh, like vegetable over here though, huh? That's yeah, I have thing. no vegetable. Oh, all right. I don't know what the hell I was thinking, honestly. Sweet chili, garlic paste, ketchup, like really? <laughs> I grab more condiments and food. It's crazy. I just don't have no vegetable, but I'm gonna make this work. I'm gonna make this work. Chef Vaughn, you're in the basement. How did you end up with tuna? It's a up up top, so you know what I mean? I'm gonna take advantage of that. Sure. I'm thinking I'm gonna do a jerk tuna. Uh, I never worked with pigeon peas, so I'm thinking about doing maybe a play on a, uh, a creamy spinach risotto. I grabbed what I thought was rice, and I looked, and it's pigeon peas. Pigeon peas, usually you usually have to soak them overnight or at least a couple hours, and then, and then it takes at least about 45 minutes minimum for them to cook down. So absolutely. you're taking us to Jamaica, you jerk oh, yes, tuna sure. with rice and peas kind of play? Yes. Love that, love that, sure. love that. I'm gonna figure the hell out and get the hell out of this basement. Pigeon peas. Attention to detail, guys. Absolutely. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's go. Miss Christina, talk to me, what you got? I have frozen fish fingers that are still frozen. Wow, how are you elevating this dish, right? How am I going to elevate frozen fish sticks 
for a tropical vibe without fresh herbs or citrus. I mean, frozen fish fingers, so challenging. I'd never want to work with these. This is the first time that I am truly worried with my ingredients. Think about it. You have no time to stand yeah, still, my no, love. I know. Zero time. Christina, what's your plan with the frozen fish fingers? I'm going to coat them cornmeal crusted, get a nice crunch. Nice, something. cornmeal crust. Yeah, they're still frozen, so I'm trying to defrost those next to the heat, hopefully. So where am I when I'm eating this tropically inspired dish? Am I by the pool? Am I, I on the you're beach? You're on the beach. I'm a beach girl Love all day. it. Love it. Mata, how are we using the imitation crab? I'm going to cut them up. And then I'm going to uh, add them in right at the end just to get some nice color on them with the sauce. Wouldn't be my first pick, but you ended up with it. So yep. show these guys what you can do to transform yep. the ingredient. Right, Chef? Yes, Chef. Let's go. Alexandra. Yes, Chef. Talk to me about your vision. Um, I am going to go for a mackerel. I'm going to score the skin. I'm going to season it. How is this tropical? Where are it you taking us tropical-wise? <laughs> um, I don't know. You don't know? <laughs> what island is this going to be from? I don't know. We can make one up. Volcano just popped up an island, and that's that right there. That's where this dish is going to be served. <laughs> I haven't figured that out yet, but I know I'm going to have good flavors, and I'm going to take you to some island. So what do you need to get in there to make it tropical? Fish stock, since I'm doing fish. Yes, chef. Thank you, chef. Let's go. Show the rest of these chefs what you got, right? Yes, chef. You looking good? Yeah, baby. Don't forget to have fun. OK, Zach. This is uh, in your wheelhouse, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm okay. feeling pretty good. Um, I'm going to do a butter poached lobster. I'm going to make a sweet potato coconut kind of puree with a uh, chorizo with breadcrumbs. You've lived in the Caribbean and currently on Hawaii, right? Yes, chef. So are we leaning more towards Caribbean or, or uh, Hawaii here? Um, probably like a more modern twist in um, Hawaii. I love it. I love yes. it. OK, listen, I got to put my money on Zach. You live on Maui, and you've lived in the Caribbean, and it's a fish-related challenge. I have to beat Gordon today, and I think Zach's the guy that's going to get us to the top one. Guys, we're 10 minutes down with 20 minutes to go. All right, focus on the protein, Gab. Right, Gabby, what'd you grab? I have this swordfish. You've got a great fish. It's on every menu in the tropical islands, right? Don't forget, swordfish can be served pink. I've cooked swordfish before. I fly fish. Girls and brown trout, some rainbows. Who taught you to fly fish from an early age? That would be my dad. Yeah. yeah. We both just love it. No, I love that. I mean, I do the same exactly with my daughter. And that's my go-to happy place, where we disappear yes. for 24 hours and just literally catch oh. these wild brown trout. Yes! Chef, if you ever want to fish, right. I am there. We could go on a little trip together, fish, have a beer, grill some swordfish. I would be a great fishing partner, Chef Ramsey. Just okay. focus on cooking that swordfish. I'm going to focus on my marinade and making this beautiful. beautiful. And I want to fry this, make yeah. some beautiful uh, yuca chips. Exactly. I don't know. I'm hoping for a mid-round drop to yeah. really elevate this flavor. All fingers crossed. Let's go, guys. Keep working. Keep working. Keep moving. It's a shot, y'all. Let's get it. Come on. Team Ramsey, it's oh, time guys. for the mid-round drop. Yes, these dishes need more color. Let's go. Oh, yes, baby. A tropical fare. Yes, baby. Let's go. Oh, my god. 10 seconds. Coconut. Coconut milk. Oh, my gosh. The mid-round drops are always a real curveball. Grab, just grab, grab. Well done. I grab a papaya and coconut cream. I was hoping to grab a coconut milk, but grab the coconut cream. Ooh, ooh, that was a mistake. OK, everyone, listen, what goes with uh, island seafood? The platform is here for your mid-round drop. You have to grab a tropical fruit and incorporate it into your dish. We've got some tropical fruits, baby. I see some kumquats, those are mine. Pineapple juice, fantastic. This dish is gonna be amazing. Coconut cream. Some of you need Anybody this. see like a plantain? No. I don't know what's happening right now, but I didn't even see anything I wanted. Like I scanned it, I was like. Pineapple? So then I grab a pineapple and freaking coconut. Ooh. Got it? All right, back to your station. Platforms on the move. Guys, these plates need color. Yes, sir. I see half of a papaya, and I'm like, I'm snatching this. I know that it's going to add a good flavor to my food. Grab, grab, grab. You got mango seed. Grab ingredients. There you go. Don't be so dainty, guys. Get in there. Find your way out of this basement. 15 minutes to go. Ay, 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 ay. Pineapple rings. 
Jordan, what did you grab the second time round? Where... Uh, we got some star fruit, which is beautiful, some mm -hmm. coconut, coconut milk, pineapple. Love that. Calm, nice and calm. Wendy, what did you grab second time round? Papaya. Good job. Wendy, look at me. Um, you got leeks in the pan, but look at me, look at me. The gas is even on. I was moving so quickly that I didn't even notice that my fire went out. You got no gas on, oh. OK? So you're focusing on the wrong thing at the moment. I never thought seeing water not boil would make me so sad. Maybe you're going to do a puree, but we've got to cook with gas. Yes, okay, chef. OK, you've got to focus now, right? Yes, chef. Please. OK, let's go. Bring this back together. I'm going to have to forget about the leak puree. Wendy, pull it together. An island-inspired fish dish. You're telling your own story, too. Behind, right behind, right behind, right behind, right behind. It really helps connect you to the dish. Ooh, she's fishy and coconutty, and she is good. All right, Angela, did you grab anything that is uh, going to benefit you here? Grab coconut and pineapple, so I'm going to add a sweet salsa on top of it. Got it. So you have uh, uh, garlic prawns, and then the garnish is going to be a pineapple salsa? Yeah, that's Got the it. aim I'm okay. going to go for. Got it. All right. I'm worried for Angela. We're on the mid-level, so I don't expect a basement-level draw from a mid-level platform drop. Man, I just want some rice. I want some rice with it. Lauren beat me to the rice. I want her to just kind of wake up, douse your head in some cold water, <gasps> come back up. Angela, you're here. It's Next Level Chef. You don't want to go home. It's time to get moving. Absolute insanity right now. It's not bad. You're, you're, you're so poised right now, it's concerning me that you're so calm. Hey, I'm working with what I got. Really focus on these prawns, because we have a minimal amount of ingredients. Yes. Let's just make sure we're focusing on them, OK? Yes, sir. All right. 10 minutes to go. We're going to bring it. Let's get to the top four, Woo! guys. Let's go, OK? Yes, chef. All right, Nicole. So I was going to fry this one and yeah, then do this fine. one in the pan. That's Is that fine. OK? I worked on a tilapia farm at some point, so I know a little bit about the fish. That's amazing. Uh, just make sure you got the coconut all the way around it. And then go ahead and fry one. We are gonna do something very crazy. And you're gonna serve this the whole tail, right? No, out I'm gonna do half, chef. Half out of the tail. Half out of the tail. Okay. I like it. I know where you're going, chef. Just yeah. bring the flavor, right? Heard that, chef. Uh, the chorizo is the ingredient here that I think can be magical for you, right? Is this a chorizo crumb? Yeah, chef. Dude. Okay, let's go. Let's Thank get you, to chef. the top. Thank you, chef. Chef plays. He's a great mentor to me. He gives exactly the guidance that I need to stay comfortable and stuff. You know, Gordon and Aisha are both known for their butter poached lobster, so. Uh, make sure it's delicious, right? I want to hang out with him at a pub, you know? <laughs> we could become BFFs. I know you. You're fine dining chef. Your plates yeah. are gorgeous and beautiful. Thank you. Let's just bring the flavor, OK? Yes, yeah, chef. Heard. Come on, guys. We got this. Do not overcook that tuna. It takes seconds to cook that. Are you slicing your fish? Mm, no. It's no wrong answer. I did not. But you just got to be I, sure. Yes, chef. Right? Control. We're in control. Yes. You're in control. I am in control. You're in the driver's seat. I'm right on the beach with a nice rum punch in Jamaica right now. So absolutely in a red stripe. Who's in the driver's seat? Me, sir. Let's go. Turn the heat up, guys. Yo. I need you to cook with all of your heart. Get creative. What do you have in your pan here? Uh, chilies, garlic, ginger, coconut rum. I already feel like I'm in the tropics. I wish I had some citrus. Let's not wish. I know. Let's I only know. make a reality. It's not easy working with fish fingers and not fresh ingredients, right? Yeah. This is a Michelin starred fish finger, right? When you're planning to drop your fish? Uh, right now. Organize yourself, take a beat, take a breath, right? And make sure when you drop that fish that nothing else is going through your That's mind up. to impede your vision. I have not cooked mackerel before, but I knew by looking at it that this fish was going to cook quickly. I got to say, I'm worried about Alexandra. Mackerel is one of the toughest fish to cook with. Alexandra's never used it. My chips. Christina with frozen fish fingers. I just hope one of these chefs has what it takes to get me out of this basement. Three minutes to go. Not too crazy. There we go. Boom. I'm going to get those nice crisscross marks on there. Yes. Yes, chef. 
Can I get okay. a taste test on here real quick? Yeah, so what's that for in here? Uh, I want to dot that around the plate just to like dip the fish in. I'm really confident in this coconut sauce. I think it's got a great flavor to it. Just kind of like on the plate as like a dressing, you know what okay. I mean? Okay, nice. Touch more salt. That's right. It yep. needs salt. Taste, taste, taste. A lot going on there, Jordan, but yeah. start working it out. Yes, yes, chef. Yes, chef. Right, Wendy, we've got to go, girl. We've got to change gear, yes? Yes, chef. I'm definitely concerned for my sauce. I know that there needs to be more balance, which is what the leek puree was going to do for me. The leeks have gone, right? Because yeah. we're yeah, we're in trouble there. Okay, start thinking about the plating. Start plating, guys. Two minutes left. Bring those visions together now, right? The platform starts down here. You're gonna have no time for editing. Make it nice. Make it nice. Keep loving your heart. Really think about what this looks like on the plate. Does it look like it tastes delicious? Is there enough when the judge goes in there with that one bite? Are they going to get all of the flavor here? 60 seconds to go. Platform is moving, guys. That's it. Give it some room to breathe, Gabby. Let it breathe. Move. Move. Let's go, guys. 30 seconds. You got ingredients. Make magic. Platform is here. Come on, guys. Come on, platform's here. It's not waiting for anyone. Mata, get on the platform. Mata, let's go. Nice, guys. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Let's go. Hands in. Platform is here. All right. Let's go, guys. Let's go, Zach. Get there, get there, dude. Get there, dude. Nice. Woo! Ah! Woo! Good job, guys. Let's go, guys. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Wendy, you're on fire there. Oh. Wendy, leave it, leave, focus, focus, just focus. The only fish that I had to plate has caught on fire. I have to get something on that dish. You got no other fish? No, these are perfect. Get it on there. Get it on there now. I am mortified. Wendy, how do you get on fire? Woo! Ah! I don't care about the foo foo. Wendy, you gotta go. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go! Man, Wendy, what happened? Fire, the fire was just in the wrong place. You're on fire for all the wrong reasons. What happened? Okay. I think the competition is like really kind of getting to me. Bloody hell. I'm feeling transported. I haven't even started to taste them yet. Beautiful. Did we descend upon that tropical island? Yes, yes. yes. Uh, well done. Let's start on the top floor. This is sea bream, sat on a salsa, a sort of coconut mint with uh, fried purple potatoes. Please. Fish is absolutely stunning, but it finishes kind of sweet on the back end, which I don't think it needs. The fish and the salsa underneath work really, really well, and then you get over into this weird regurgitated baby food sauce. Half of it's excellent, half of it's as weird as can be. Oh, regurgitated baby food. Oh, my God. This is a uh, barramundi uh, with a dragon fruit, uh, salsa, a couscous, and some pomegranate seeds. Fish is cooked absolutely beautifully. It's glistening, it's incredible. Fish is just exceptional. And the dragon fruit salsa, absolute hand in glove. Yeah, the dragon fruit salsa, I love just the color of it. It adds a lot of nice freshness to it. Sadly, the rest of the dish is kind of one note. This is a swordfish. It was marinated and served with a little salsa. Beautiful, beautiful. The quadrillage of the grill, and this is cooked absolutely perfectly. It's got amazing crunch coming off the sort of cassava chip. Yeah, it's got finesse. That's what I love about this dish. Uh, red snapper and a nice sort of Caribbean flair salsa. Fish is cooked beautifully. The bright notes coming off the salsa is incredible. The proportions of the presentation are off, but the flavors work really, really well. So this is a mahi-mahi. It was marinated in miso paste. Then underneath that is a coconut uh, sauce. Slightly minimalistic. It tastes a little bit more like, like a smoothie than it does a, a fish dish, to be honest. The sauce itself is it's really cloying. It's really sweet. The dish is way too sweet. 
I wish the leek puree had made the plate a sort of earthiness to get rid of that sweetness. It's a great shame. I just knew I could do so much better. It's like a combination of letting myself and Chef Ramsay down. Shall we move to the middle floor? We'll start over here. Wow. This is a butter poached lobster with a chorizo sabayon. Wow. Lobster's cooked absolutely to utter perfection. Well done. There's a sweetness coming off of this dish that's really quite lovely. Uh, the presentation reminds me of this sort of fine dining moment. This chef made a coconut crusted tilapia with an island inspired succotash and some pickled ginger salad. Wow. The hero is the tilapia. It tastes delicious. I would say the fish is cooked beautifully. It's good. Over here, we have fried catfish with a gochichang rice and some pickled kumquats, uh, carrots, and shizo. Beautiful citrus notes coming off of the kumquat. Catfish is cooked lovely. I think the only weird bit here is the rice. It's like a collision of two islands. This is a chili garlic grilled prawn with a pineapple salsa. Uh, the prawn themselves are seasoned really, really well. I love the spice. It's just lacking like the next one or two ingredients. Now, there's a, a, a ton of chili right on my palate and it's searching to go somewhere. Some beautiful fresh herbs could really liven this dish up. Mm. It's almost like the grab was the dysfunctional part of this dish because it's short on ingredients. I would like a vacation, a long one away from the grab. Shall we uh, move to the basement with you, Naisha, please? Cannot wait. Please, wow. So first up, this chef is taking us to Jamaica by way of a jerk spice tuna, sort of legume salad, a play on rice and peas, uh, with a beautiful uh, tropical salsa over top. Wow, it's the type of thing that I would put on one of my menus, to be honest. I love the spice blend on the tuna. The legumes are a bit salty. The Bravado, sticking jerk seasoning on a tuna. Smart cooking. So I'm hearing Chef Ramsay say, smart. And I'm like, yeah, duh, it's me. You should have picked me. But you didn't. So Team Arrington all the way. Next up, we are going to Southeast Asia. The chef has imitation crab. Ooh, imitation crab, my favorite. <laughs> Said no one ever. <laughs> it's another kudos to getting yourself out of that basement because it's very clever. Next up, we have a mackerel this is served with rice and fried okra. The sauce is made of yuzu and scotch bonnet. Sadly, the mackerel's overcooked here. Rice a little bit bland. It needs something lively. This reminds me of when you're on vacation, you get room service, and you got to call downstairs and uh, ask for a refund. Next up, we have frozen fish fingers. Wow. Oh, god. Like, please, just don't spit them out. <laughs> This is served with a papaya salsa and a purple sweet potato chip, sort of taking you to the poolside. Wow, kudos for the creativity. This looks like it's on a menu, poolside. The salsa is super tasty. Yeah, I think a great job to sort of transform an ingredient that's generally underwhelming. What a tasting. All of you, please excuse us. Thank you. Yeah, we said regurgitated baby food. Should we start uh, with my floor, the top floor? Yes, please. Let's do it. <laughs> um, sea bream. The fish was cooked beautifully, but the texture of the and sauce. then the sweetness. You couldn't eat that whole dish, could you? No. Mahi, mahi. Uh, what a downfall. I mean, that was uh, Yeah. Oh my gosh. coconut sauce. I, I, what happened up there? Uh, I mean, I think this individual panicked. Uh, they'd forgotten the leeks. It was not pleasant. Never want to taste that dish again. How you feeling, Wendy? Trying to keep it together. Just focus. Um, middle floor, the lobster was incredible. It was just cooked perfectly. Yeah, that for me is the one treat whilst you're on vacation. I was just like, where are we going, right? I picture the beach, the tiki torches, but what was the essence? Oh, what sure. island were we on? Oh, well, I mean, I think to me it's, it's, it's Hawaiian. The prawns, you, you got one, one hero, one zero. I mean, yeah, the prawns just needed something else. I couldn't even identify what they were. Yeah, they were was... so covered in sort of gunk. Uh, basement, my eyes were drawn to that jerk seasoning tuna. That was beautiful jerk tuna with a play on rice and peas. That is vision, and this person executed it. What happened with the mackerel? The chef with the mackerel didn't have a good vision from the beginning. It was really oily and oh, plain. Shit. Yeah. My outstanding dish was the tuna. I have to agree with you. It took me to Jamaica. Don't you think the legumes were a bit salty on the tuna? 
There wasn't anything on the lobster plate yeah, that was not delicious. You're turning me. It was a stunning, a stunning lobster. But this person is cooking for the one percenters of the world, right? This dish. It's a true is one percenters on vacation. Damn. Like we don't. That we dish want was them, too sweet. Don't we want them making beautiful dishes? The lobster was too sweet. Now. Oh my God. This guy right. made this jerk tuna in the basement. Did the basement have anything to do with how over seasoned the legumes were? Chef seasoned. seasoned. Over seasoned. The legumes were salty to me. It no, wasn't wait. quite balanced enough. With the spinach, it was delicious. You can't make so. that lobster at home. That's the one where you're coming home and you're like, I don't even know how to do this. That's the one you're going to put on social media. Chorizo sabayon. I'm fighting for this tuna. Well, fight, fight Incredible. for it. Incredible. Because it's a delicious dish. It the, is the, the a delicious dish. The legumes are salty. It's Guys, really we have delicious. to come to a decision. We're tied 1-1. One, one. one lobster, one tuna. They're both good dishes. One is top level and one is just below it. Here they come. Oh, man. Let's go. Come on. OK, guys. Today, we've got some outstanding dishes. Only one will earn the safety for your entire team and kickstart your next cook in that top flight kitchen. And that dish is the tuna. Let's go! <laughs> Let's go! Sorry, Hell yeah! <laughs> my second time winning, so I'm very happy about that. I just need the rest of the team to just step up a little bit. Maybe I can take a snooze or take a little break one of these days. Absolutely. Let's go! Well done, Vaughn. Every day you get reminded. It sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, thanks to Vaughn, you are safe. Yes. Uh, so Please go. head back to the lounge. You've earned it. Oh, yeah. Way oh, to cook your way out of the basement, guys. <laughs> he reminds me every day. I love that. Let's go! Oh! Let's go! Oh! Gordon, Richard, each of you will have to choose one chef to go into that elimination. Richard, I'm going to start with you. I'm sending the chef in who I think will be best served by the additional time in that top level kitchen. Angela. Show me what you can do today. Because again, your food is tasty. Just need a couple more ingredients. OK, Gordon, who will you be sending in to face Angela in the elimination? Tough one for me, this one. We're the only team with five. I'd like to keep it that way. So I need to put someone in this elimination that can take Angela down. Someone that can go in and come back out. That chef is... I need to put someone in this elimination that can take Angela down. Jordan. But... On your chest, you do have an immunity pin. So do you go into the elimination to stand for Team Ramsey, or do you keep yourself safe? I gotta look out for myself at the end of the day, and if that means I have to use an immunity pin and send somebody else in, unfortunately, that's just what it is. It sucks. You know, I earned this pin, Chef, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use that today. Wow! Whoa. Please pass me your pin. Good job, Chef. Sorry about the sauce. Now. Chris, you've already been into elimination. Maybe it's time that Wendy proves her worth here. I can do it, Chef. I feel like this is what I've, I've been preparing for since I, like, picked up a spatula, you know? So it's like, I just need to remember how much I've overcome to be here. Wow. Angela, Wendy. For this elimination, I want you to leave paradise, OK? I want you to head inland for a hearty pork dish that will make us crave that country life. Got it? Yes, yes chef. chef. Please head to the elevator, and I will meet you upstairs. OK, Wendy, head up, OK? Guys, pick her up, OK? Lift her up. OK, Angela, you got this, OK? okay. A little bit more of a full plate. Lift her up. You got this. 
That didn't work out the way you wanted it to, huh? Mr. Blaze getting feisty. I love that. All right. Woo! All right. Let's go, baby. Let's go, Angela. I'm going to eat her alive. She's soft. I don't feel threatened at all. Angela is a very strong chef. But I am ready for this. I am going to go in there and cook my heart out. Let's go. Yeah. Got this. Yeah. How you doing? I feel like you really don't know what's gonna happen. Wendy's looking kind of confident. Why is why it's not me? Yeah. You're gonna have 25 minutes. Cook with intention and cook with speed. Both of you are great chefs. You're gonna make this the best dish that you've cooked in this competition. Queen energy. Yes, chef. Yes, you feel chef. me? Yes. I want you guys to both please line up at the elevator. The platform will be coming down shortly. One perfect pork dish. Let's go, ladies. I gotta come in swinging. Wherever the punches land, that's where they're gonna land. Go! Oh, 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 oh my god! Oh my god! Oh. Oh. This is crazy. It's really the Hunger Games right here. I only see that in the NFL when they get back up like that. I want Wendy to win now. No, I want Wendy Did to she win. just push that was, that was up? Come on, Wendy. Yes, yes, I definitely got pushed, but there's no time to be annoyed. Four coin. I heard Wendy fall. I don't have time to figure out how we're not going to bump into each other. I'm using my body any way that I can. Whatever. I immediately grabbed the pork loin. If it was one, I was going to get it. What'd you grab, Wendy? I got a pork chop. I'm going to do a more Asian-inspired dish that I'm familiar with. How are you finishing this pork chop? A light chili glaze with sesame. It takes a long time to cook, right? Yes, chef. That pork chop takes forever. Yeah, but she got to rest it, bro. It's a big chop. That time is ticking. She just needs to get it in the oven five minutes ago. Angela, what'd you grab? I'm going to do some rustic potatoes. I'm going to sear my pork loin, finish it in the oven. Is this a dish that you're comfortable making? It's something I learned from school. Awesome. What sort of sauce are you making? I'm going to do red wine, throw some butter, some shallot, some thyme. Keep it nice, thick, and rich. You have that sort of game day face all day long. I need to see intensity from you, OK? Mm -hmm. Right? Yes, yeah, sure. I feel like if you show expression, people are going to be like, oh, she's weak. I don't want that. When you get too emotional, that's going to get the best of you. And that's where you'll go home. Let's go, Angela. 15 minutes left, guys. 15 minutes. You've checked on your pork, right? Make sure you stay in control, OK? Oh, a little bit of cream, pinch of cream, some butter, some garlic, I think. Yeah, I have garlic, garlic already melted in with my potatoes. It's a weird looking mash. It looks like potato salad. We're done. She's done? He's tight. Rest that baby. Wendy, where's your pork chop? It's in the oven, chef. But it needs time to rest, right? Yes, chef. Eight minutes. Make sure your pork chop is cooked, OK? It's, uh, it's raw. It's raw. Oh! I really want to slice it. No, don't slice it. Is she going to cut it? No, 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 It's raw, it's raw. Wendy cuts the pork chop off the beautiful bone. It's gonna be dry. You shouldn't have done that. Come on, Wendy. Come on, Wendy. Let's go. Angela, how's your red wine sauce? Stop adding butter to it. I didn't add no more butter. What is she doing? More butter? It's a lot of butter in there. It wants to break. You see the shine on it? Yeah. yeah those speckles? Four minutes left. Make sure that flavor's good. Check that pork in there, Wendy. Yeah. Do you like the flavor? I like the way it tastes. Yeah. <laughs> Start plating. Bring these dishes together. Let's go, Come Wendy. On, Take your time, Jake. One go, minute, 30 go. seconds. Yes, that was yes, beautiful, yes, Wendy. Yes, 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 yes. Love it. Got it. The sauce broke, y'all. Here we go. Don't forget your salsa. Let's go, let's go. Woo! Five, four, three, two, one. My Good sauce job. was perfect. When I first poured it out, it was thick. It was perfect, and I threw butter in it. I it up. 
Okay. Naisha, how was that? Wow. Both of these ladies cooked with absolute heart and soul up here. Mm -hmm. We are gonna start with the pork loin. This has a rustic potato and a red wine panju. Now, first off, the pork is cooked beautifully. Uh, nice combination of the mash, the potatoes, but the sauce uh, is broken. And the mash needs just a hint more seasoning. Yeah, I mean, I love the idea of the rustic mash, but it is a little too uneven for me. But all in all, classics are classics for a reason. That all works. Our next dish is made with a pork chop. This is served on top of a cauliflower puree with a uh, pepper salsa. The flavors in this one are, are good. Um, the only thing I've got uh, a problem with this is that the pork is tough. I love the earthiness. It's a rustic looking dish. I love the spices that are on the pork. The pork is overcooked though. But the flavors work. Richard, I'm gonna start with you. Which dish will you be eliminating? The dish made with pork loin or the pork chop? Mm. To me, the dish that I'll be eliminating is... It's the pork chop. Gordon, I'm gonna ask you the same question. The dish I'm going to eliminate tonight is gonna be... the pork chop. That dish was cooked by Wendy. <sighs> Wendy, you're leaving this competition as a very good chef. Thank you, Okay. Chef. I went from, you know, providing behavioral therapy to standing in front of you three, you know? It's quite the pivot. Thank you so much. Yeah. yeah. Thank, you. Thank, you, oh, cool. Thank you for everything. Cooking in this competition, pushed me to my limits, and I'm just so proud of myself for making it all the way here. Bye, Bye Wendy. Any regrets from this elimination cook-off? I should have pushed Angela. I'm kidding, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, Angela, well done, cracking job. Pork delicious, young lady. Thank you, yeah. Chef. And Angela, you put together a proper restaurant-style dish. Good job. Yes, Chef, thank Absolutely. you. Don't underestimate me. It's gonna be a different Angela now because I'm not going back to elimination. Jordan, based on that cook, do you think you could have competed? Of course, sir. Yeah. I feel bad, man. I appreciate the fact that you feel bad. That confirms you're human. However, you earned it for a reason. Yes, yeah, sir. Well done. Get some rest. Next time, you're going to have to earn your street cred. Mm. Think about that. Good night. Thank you, Good night. Thank you chef. Thank you, Good night. Thank you, chef. Amazing. Good job. Nice job, girl. Stone Cold Killer. Next time on Next Level Chef. What in the world is going on? This has never happened in the history of Next Level Chef. Today, that platform will not be stopping. What? <laughs> grab, 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 grab. Oh, oh that's moving fast. <laughs> All right, one ingredient. No protein? Oh, chef. Oh, my God. This is madness, utter madness. Oh, I just have air in my hands. I'm like, maybe I was going to boil air.